be Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. It's a game that Rare has developed, obviously the third in the series. For those that have played Banjo Kazooie, we released that uh, June 29th, 1998 from Rare. And uh, in the year 2000, came out with Banjo Tooie. So now, after a long wait and two platforms later, we have Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. The two driving features uh, sets that we like to push for are user creativity, user generated content, but also you have a situation now where the world isn't, it's not three times bigger, two, three times bigger. If you go to Banjo Tooie compared to Banjo Kazooie, the world was maybe three times the size. Now we're talking about a world that's hundreds of times bigger. So the idea today is to see if we can get creativity as the prize for helping people in the game. So instead of just giving you a new move, what if we were to give you some parts? And then you could take all those parts and put them together into vehicles in any way that you see fit. Or instead of saying, well now you can glide, I'll give you some wings, what if I give you some real wings and you can decide, do I put them on this vehicle that has a propeller? Or maybe I stick them on that vehicle that has jets? Or maybe I have put them on a vehicle that doesn't have uh, motive power at all and I have to glide after I get some speed and go off a jump. It, it literally leaves things up to the player. So Kazooie used to have a bunch of moves while she lived in her backpack and what she gets now is a magic wrench. She uses that wrench actually to use a lot of the tools that are in the environment. There are these devices that she can turn or spin or flip or hit that'll dispense things for you or open things or control giant cranes as, as one extreme. You still get out of your vehicles and climb around a lot with Banjo. And there's, there's balancing games, there's jumping games, there's, there's climb all over the world stuff. So we're not talking in depth about multiplayer today, but I can tell you that we'll have a multiplayer mode that we talked about before, supports up to eight players. We're going to have a whole bunch of different modes that you can play, including a form of co-op, where you go through some of the challenges that you do in the one player game, but now doing it with your friends. What I think is most important about multiplayer that we are talking about today, though, is the ability to if any vehicle that you see in the game with a multiplayer game, you can talk to that player and have them gift you or trade with you the, that blueprint. And if you have all the right parts, then bam, the vehicle that you saw is now in your game. So I've been a big fan of platformers and action adventure games ever since the NES days. I've been working on games for about 20 years now. And I'm really impressed with what this team has done to be able to nail both the feeling that I love about the traditional action adventure style of gameplay and give me something that's just dramatically new and different than what I've played before. I've played games before where I'll do a challenge that I like and I want to try it three or four times, but I've never had the same experience where it's like I'll do a challenge and then I'll try and do it better and then all of a sudden it'll pop into my head, hey I should try it with this radically different device and then go off and start toying with the devices and then come back and do the challenge again and again. So they've been able to take a game that's already long and, and deep and add pretty much limitless replay value based on the ability you have to build cool stuff. And I think in that, I, I really applaud what the, what the guys at Rare have done once again. So Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts will be coming out this November for the Xbox 360. Look forward to seeing you on live.